Disclaimer, I am not, nor have I ever been, a video game developer or designer. This video is purely for theory crafting and fun. Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. Tanking. I am heavy weapons guy. Or Meat Shield is a character class that deliberately attracts an enemy's attention to act as a decoy for teammates, usually sacrificing damage output for higher defensive capabilities. Tanking in video games is a dated topic. Going back to maybe Final Fantasy 1 in 1987, you could slot a party member with high health and damage mitigation in the quote unquote first position, uh, which would usually be attacked about 50% of the time versus the others, positions 2, 3, 4 going down uh, the row there. With regards to the MMORPG genre, I would argue that EverQuest and World of Warcraft were the two video games to truly define and refine what tanking means in the world of video games. You would think that this aspect of gaming would have been perfected after about 20 years of developers choosing to put it into their products. So why does it seem so difficult to make this character class more engaging for players? Because I have to doubt spending endless hours searching for a tank in a looking for group chat channel just to complete one dungeon is what game designers had in mind for their players. Now, I don't normally play as a tank, and I don't think I'm intelligent enough to solve this problem for every game. However, I do have a not so well thought out solution for my current favorite MMO, New World. I thought of this idea while driving home from a long walk with my dog as I will sometimes do talking out loud and hoping he will respond. Anyways, I think the solution is to add variety. Plain and simple. And this is how I would do it. I would add a third skill tree with several different weapons, chiefly the Fire Staff, Ice Gauntlet, and Void Gauntlet. This came from thinking about a, a previous MMO that I played, Star Wars The Old Republic. In the vanilla version of this game, they had three choices for tanks, each behaving a little bit differently than the others. You had a tank with slightly more avoidance, another with higher mitigation and absorption but a lower overall defense, and one with a higher base defense but lower mitigation and absorption compared to the others. Hopefully that makes sense. That coupled with different abilities allowed you to choose a playstyle you enjoyed for a usually humdrum character class. So. Thinking along that vein, and totally ignoring PvP, I thought it would be really cool to give some love to the magic weapons and completely adjust the playstyle. Firstly, I would design it so that if you decide to try out the tank tree, you will be locked into that tree, meaning you cannot have points in the tank tree as well as the DPS trees and vice versa if you put points into the DPS trees. No double dipping. Now. Yeah, you know, I realize that this limits what the tank can do, but you have to give up something to get something, right? And it also means getting creative from the developer standpoint to make the trees more enticing, both for DPS and for tanks. So from what I was hinting at earlier with different styles of tanking, you could have the fire staff offer more mitigation and absorption through different types of flame shields, 
You know, maybe you move incinerate and flamethrower over to this tree. You save yourself a little bit of work there. Maybe incinerate can now pull enemies closer to you rather than push them away. Maybe flamethrower can offer stacks of fortify along with burn. Or you add a new skill, flame shield. You know, it envelops the character to help mitigate incoming damage. Uh, the void gauntlet can be your avoidance and leeching tank. Move the void blade over and offer some sort of void phase shift ability, right? The ice gauntlet can become your high defense, lower mitigation weapon. Ice tomb, you remove that from the DPS tree, but in the tanking tree, it now becomes ice armor. Or maybe it becomes like an ice shield, right? A skill that creates a temporary shield made from ice. Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of like off the cuff here. But moving these skills around could offer up new spaces for the DPS side to flourish as well, allowing them to become more range focused rather than a weird mix of close combat with a few ranged abilities and spamming heavy attacks, right? Now, I know I don't have all the answers, and if everything I've said is just complete nonsense, at the very least, I, I hope this is something that can get the juices flowing for any designer or developer out there trying to improve on our 20-something struggling years of looking for tank for XYZ Dungeon. Thank you. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, I know it was kind of a short one for such a huge topic, but I feel like it's something that could be... I feel like it's something that I could very easily get lost in the weeds in, and I kind of wanted to make it just as concise as possible, because I truly think that the best way to make tanking, if you're going to keep it in New World, you have to give it more variety. And for me, the variety, instead of introducing maybe new weapons, I think improving upon the weapons you already have could make a huge difference. So that's where I wanted to go with this clear and concise. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one.